Drops it backwards to Barkley. Hurdles a man. Saquon. Say gone. Saquon Barkley. Say bye bye. Saquon Barkley joins us now. And Saquon, this past decade was flush with running back talent. But an expert panel chose only you and Jonathan Taylor as the running backs of the decade. How does that sit with you? Um, well, one, it's just an honor, truly a blessing, because when you think about how many great runners backs there have been in the last decade, and um, for my name to even be mentioned with those guys and to actually be picked at, um, picked at two of the running backs for the all-decade team, uh, it's truly amazing and just shows, you know, um, th those are things I wanted to accomplish uh, when I was in college. and. Um, Took a lot of hard work and, you know, with the help of my teammates, a couple of my coaches, and um, to be able to do that and be able to make the scene was truly special. Let's go back to the very beginning. You said there were things you wanted to accomplish when you got into college. What were those things? Um, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, one of the first things I said when I got to campus is uh, that I want to be one of the best running backs to play at Penn State. Um, and that was my mindset. That was my goal. Um, I want to bring championships. Um, I want to be part of the reason that Penn State comes back. And, um, you know, we speak highly of Penn State. And, um, you know, I, Penn State in a row. Uh, Coach Franklin, you know, got those guys going. That was in, even when I left. Um, and, you know, it wasn't only me. It was me. It was Trace. It was Binder. It was Marcus. Um, Deshaun Hamilton. Uh, Chris Godwin. So many names, you know, that, that helped us. Uh, kind of get Penn State back on the map along with all those coaches that have been there. So um, I had, had fun, had fun, had a great time there. Uh, and I, I kind of missed it, but uh, that was kind of one of my goals is uh, make a statement and try to be one of the best to do it. If you had to guess how many times you hurdled someone in college, what would the number be? Um, I heard someone like Buffalo. I heard someone <laughs> so I heard of Iowa three times. O State. Four, that's four. Maryland, five. I'll go anywhere at Illinois. Six. I'll go anywhere at six or seven. I love that you know all of them. You remember them all. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got like, I like, I don't know. I can remember a lot of plays in my head, but um, so I would say six or seven. Uh, the sophomore year in State College, you guys marched to the Big Ten Championship. Give me your favorite memory from that run. Um. Uh, Either Michigan or Minnesota. Um, Michigan, uh, we got embarrassed. Um, you know, they, they played a hell of a game. Uh, we were injured all over on a defense. We went up there, got beat 49-10. Um, and that was kind of like we are 2-2 two two at that point. Uh, you hear talks of people saying Coach Franklin and should be a coach and, you know, all these, neg all these negative things coming at our team. I mean, in Minnesota, we're down, um, and you know we fight back in two minute. Um, you know, Trace Trace uh, does a two minute drive, gets us uh, into the game. We go to overtime. Um, I'm able to, you know, the O line made an unbelievable block. Joe Mo made a great call. I got one on one with a safety. Um, and, you know, I kind of like made a miss and jumped into the end zone. And then from that point on, uh, we were just a different team. Uh, so I would say the negative energy and us going through a lot of adversity uh, kind of helped build that team and. You know, a lot of teams at that time can fall apart. I mean, we stood together and we pushed through and um, ended up being Big Ten champions. You really do have a good memory, man. That's impressive. Yeah, but what, that's, uh, what do you remember from the Fiesta Bowl, that 92-yard run? Um, I remember uh, it was inside zone um, and the kind of just split like the Red Sea. Uh, and I remember just like, just in my head, just thinking speed, speed, speed. Um, I made the guy miss, uh, but they had a guy there, uh, who I think the number, number was four, um, but he was not giving up the play. So I'm like cruising and I just like keep looking back. And this guy is just moving, moving, moving. But uh, we, we get into the end zone. Um, that, that game was fun. Um, you know, that's my last game ever uh, in uh, Penn State uniform. And uh, obviously I didn't take my normal snaps or my normal reps, uh, but to be able to be able to help the team, um, in any way possible to, to get a win and, um, you know, actually win a Fiesta Bowl, another big bowl, um, and a lot. Saquon Barkley, you might say hurdling's not that big a deal, but you hurdled every other running back in the last 10 years in the Big Ten to win this honor. So congratulations, and thanks for giving us some of your time. No problem, guys. Thank you. Take care.